This is Lawrence Sanek at the Home Seller Home Buyer Podcast with the Home Buyer episode number three the overview of the process to buy real estate. Let's begin the overview of the process to buy real estate. All transactions have different requirements and stipulations that are dependent on the buyers and sellers. Those stipulations will either be negotiated and then formalized into a contract, or if something has a uh, come up that has to be renegotiated after contract is signed, then an addendum is made to the contract to cover that situation. The general process used for purchasing real estate in the USA is basically as follows. Identify the property you want to purchase, make an offer on the real estate you have decided to purchase, and place your signatures on the offer to purchase forms supplied by the buyer's agent. At the time of signing the offer to purchase, you will need to wire or send over anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 minimum, depending on the purchase price, this can be larger, as a security deposit to the title company or attorney of the seller's choice to secure the property. You'll have to check with each state and country for their requirements, but this is just a general requirement. This shows your good faith in that you want to purchase the property. Once the buyer and seller have signed the offer to purchase, this then becomes a contract. Between the signed contract and the security deposit, this removes the property from having other offers accepted to sell the property to someone else. If the offer is not accepted and there is no agreement, this amount is then refunded. But before we get to that point, here's what happens. Once you sign the offer to purchase and send the money for escrow deposit, the signed offer to purchase will be given to the seller's agent. The seller's agent will then present it to the seller for his acceptance counter offer or rejection. If accepted, signatures of all sellers are required. The seller's agent sends a copy of the signed offer to purchase, which is now a contract between the buyer and seller, back to the buyer's agent. The buyer's agent will then send a copy to the buyer for their record. The title company and or attorney gathers all legal documents together and verifies all information. The title company or attorney sends you and the seller a package of legal documents for each to sign and return. You sign the documents and return to the title company or attorney and wire or transfer the additional funds required as stated on the HUD-1. We will get into the HUD-1 later, but it is determined what amount of money you have to supply in addition to your deposit to purchase that property. Once that is completed, all documents signed by all parties and the money has been wired to the title company attorney, then funding takes place. When funding has taken place, it is then considered a completed transaction and the house or property is yours. All the paperwork can be emailed to you so you don't even have to be at closing. The keys are sent to whoever the buyer has selected to receive them or the buyer receives them at closing. If it's a loan or cash purchase on a bank-owned or regular sale, not a short sale, it's possible to close or complete a transaction in as little as three to six weeks. On a short sale, this can take longer to complete and could potentially be anywhere from six weeks to who knows how many months. The time frame will vary from lender to lender, and the requirements will determine the time frame to complete the transaction. Normally, the transaction can be completed in two to seven months, which will be determined by the number of loans on the property. Thank you for listening to Homebuyer Episode 3. We are grateful for the time you have taken to listen to this podcast, and we look forward to your input on what you would like to hear about in future podcasts. You can find the show notes at www.homesellerhomebuyer.com and you can leave your comments, questions, and suggestions there or you can email us at info at homesellerhomebuyer.com. Tell your family, friends, and coworkers about Home Seller Home Buyer Podcast. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to listen to the Home Seller Home Buyer Podcast and catch us on the next episode. 
Thank you for listening and stay informed. Thank you.